Today's coaster review is of Iron Dragon at Cedar Point. This is an aerodynamic suspended roller coaster, and in this video I'll be giving my full thoughts about it. Let's first start off with the stats. It is 76 feet tall, that makes it an ideal family coaster. The ride travels along 2800 feet of track, pretty good length for a family coaster. Its maximum speed is 40 miles per hour, and its duration is 2 minutes. And it does have two lift hills, and because it's not traveling too fast, this is actually a pretty long ride. This is one of the longer family coasters out there. Even when you take out the two lift hills, this is a long family coaster, which is a good thing. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't that impressed with this coaster. I've ridden some other aerodynamic suspended coasters out there, including the Bat and Big Bad Wolf, and this one I was just underwhelmed with. First of all, because it's kind of shaky. Suspended coasters like the Bat and Big Bad Wolf were pretty smooth rides, and this one was just kind of shaky, which I was not thrilled about. Also comparing this one to those two, this one does not have as strong of a layout. It's definitely going to be more tame than the other two. But when you're in a roller coaster park filled with all these extreme rides, it's good that they have a roller coaster like this for the younger ones. A ride that can cater to those riders who can't fit the height requirement of Millennium Force or Maverick or Top Thrill Dragster. Now, when you go to ride this coaster, the first thing to note is that if you have loose articles, they will be riding with you. And because this ride isn't too extreme, that's totally okay. I had a bag with me, and I just stuck it in the car, and it was completely fine. Now, this ride does have over-the-shoulder restraints, which I'm not thrilled about. Now, that is a normal thing with these suspended coasters, but I personally don't think that that's necessary. I think that they totally could have gotten away with lap bars, but that's not a Cedar Point problem. That's just how the ride was made. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't build roller coasters, so maybe I'm wrong. Now, the whole point of this ride is that it's not about the airtime, and it's definitely not about the inversions, because there are none. This ride is about how it sways along the track, and as it goes along these turns, you're going to do some hard banking. And that's a pretty cool factor to this ride. That's something I love about suspended coasters. It's a very different experience than any of the other roller coasters at Cedar Point. Plus, if you're watching it, this coaster travels out over a lake, and it's really pretty. This is a very scenic roller coaster. This is a ride that you just kind of want to sit back and watch. Unfortunately, I wish the ride experience was as good as the ride looked. I got off this ride, and I said, that's it? Seriously? I was not impressed with it at all. I didn't feel the need to ride it again. I've only ridden this coaster once because I was not impressed with it. Now, maybe if you're a younger rider and you're not quite 54 inches tall, and you go to ride this coaster, then you might enjoy it. This could be a great coaster for younger riders, especially those who are nervous about inversions, don't like going up too tall. This is a great ride for you. But if you're an experienced coaster rider, then this probably won't do much for you. It certainly didn't do anything for me. Out of all of Cedar Point's roller coasters, I probably wouldn't even put this in the top 10. And the problem with this ride is the layout. The layout is pretty lame. It just kind of meanders around, and so coasters like Big Bad Wolf have a strong layout, and so they're much more enjoyable. Maybe this coaster doesn't have a good layout because of the space they were working with, or the audience they were gearing towards. So for Iron Dragon's final score, I'm going to be giving it a 3.5 out of 10. I don't think it's the greatest ride in the world. Even for an aero suspended coaster, I thought it was on the weaker side. But I do like several things about it. Suspended coasters in general, I think, are fun attractions. I like how this goes out into the woods and then goes out over the lake. I think it's very pretty, especially when you factor in that whole water fountain. It's just a cool looking ride. And it's definitely good for those younger audiences. But like I've said before, if you're an older guy, you should probably stick to some of the larger attractions. So that is it for this coaster review. I want to know what you thought of Iron Dragon. And make sure to stay tuned for more coaster reviews of other rides at Cedar Point, Kings Island, other Cedar Fair parks, and other parks around the country. And I'll catch you guys next time.